Hi, this is Bob Snyder with the Snyder Team and Remax Results. And for those of you who, who caught the last video, I talked about some of the real estate myths um, that people wanted to get some clarification on. So I covered eight of those. Today I'm gonna cover just a few more. But myth number one, which I find more and more since Zillow has become more and more popular for people to search for homes, is that what Zillow says is true. That is not true. Many of you have seen what's called the Zestimate out there. That Zestimate is just really a, a very complex logarithm that the Zillow programmers have created that take a variety of factors in and come up with a price. Uh, number 10, this is a great one that I hear almost every time when I sit down with sellers prior to listing their home. Is it better to list high and then come down versus listing the home what you feel is the true market value. And I always tell people, your home, the buyers determine what the market value is based upon comparables that are recently sold and active. The closer you can sell or list, excuse me, list that house to where that market is, the better chance you're gonna be able to get an offer quickly or get multiple offers. Myth number 11, when making an offer on a home, you always start low. It all kind of depends on the, on the uh, home. It all depends on how long the home's been on the market, how much do you really want that home as a buyer. I know for me, if I want something, I will go ahead and make it happen. If that means me paying full price for something I really want, I will do that and I encourage my clients to do that. One key question I ask is if you lost out for on this house, would you be disappointed based on the offer that you had made? Uh, so that's a really good uh, conversation to have as we're working through that piece. Myth number 12, the longer the home is on the market, the more you can actually negotiate on it. Now that, you know, like again, it depends on the home, but that is not necessarily true. A lot of times there may be a home that's been on the market for a while where it really requires a specific buyer, or there may be a seller that's just extremely price conscious and they really can't negotiate much lower. Uh, so that would debunk that particular myth of any of those two scenarios. Myth number 13, multiple price reductions mean the seller is desperate to sell. That is not true. Multiple price reductions means that one of two things probably happened when that home was listed. First off, they probably listed that house too high based upon what the market was doing at that particular time or the market may have shifted while they had their house on the market so that now they are shifting and responding to that market to go ahead and reduce that price to be able to capture that market and get their offer. All right, myth number 14, we got just two left. Multiple offers give the sellers an advantage. Yeah, they can. I mean, it can give the seller an advantage uh, depending upon what those particular offers are. Now, a lot of times people assume because the home has multiple offers that the house is gonna sell at a higher price than it's listed, uh, it's in high demand. The reality is that the home is priced right and the seller can have leverage, but a buyer can also have leverage if they're heavy down payment uh, if they uh, can close quickly and are flexible. So as an agent, we wanna position our buyers who are getting themselves involved in multiple offer situations to give them as much leverage as possible so the seller really strongly considers their offer and will give up some of their leverage to get what really what they want at the end of the day. Number 15, the last myth is all agents are the same. That is not true, agents are very different. Uh, and you know, I'm not always gonna get hired every time I sit down with somebody and my top competitors aren't always gonna get hired either because there's gotta be a connection there, first of all, between the client and the real estate agent and there has to be a perception of value that that agent is providing and also a level of experience. Uh, so an agent who's been in the business 20 years like myself has a lot of experience compared to somebody who's freshly out of school. So not all agents are the same and one real critical piece that differentiates agents is their ability to effectively market your home, which requires them to outlay resources to do so. And there is a lot of um, money, a lot of 
time that is involved in marketing a, a, pro, a property correctly. So I think that brings us to all the all the myths that you know between this video and the last video I wanted to kind of discuss, and that really hits a lot of uh, questions I think the overall public has in regards to to real estate. So hopefully you found some good information from this, uh, and at any time you can always reach out to me directly. Uh, again, it's Bob Snyder with the Snyder team. My direct number is 651-430-2970. Or you can email me at homeinfo at the Thanks for watching. We hope you found value in this video today.